I'm Michael. Tara, check it out. Pizza Master, the revised edition. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Um, there was an original edition, and they actually changed a few rules between the normal and the revised edition. This is from Stronghold Games, but not the Stronghold you know. It is called officially Stronghold of Siam. But uh, the it's weird. The logo pretty much says Stronghold. It, yeah. But it is not normal Stronghold games. Yes. Just so everybody knows. Yes. Um, it did get, uh, it was a winner of the 2019 Thailand Board Game Awards. So, uh, and it comes with English and Thai rules. So, yeah, let's take a look at what you get in Pizza Master. Yay! Drew says that could be confusing. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Definitely could be confusing. So, what are you doing? Making it straight. Yeah, unfortunately, you are moving everything. Don't worry about it. So, we are pizza crafters, and you have now you have now made the board. Sorry. It's unfortunately is not straight in the world that I inhabit, so I can always adjust that so anyway um what we do uh we can play this in either trainee mode or master mode we are going to be playing some elements of master mode and some elements of trainee mode uh, because you can add in modules that will uh that will make it uh master mode or add in other features so uh, we're going to play this game in rounds. Each round is a day, and a round is divided into three phases. We're going to have the start of the day, where we take our orders and we go shopping. We have our making pizza phase, when we will collect ingredients and cook. And then we have the end of the day, where we clean up shop and change turn order. So, um, what we do is, we will change this to the start of the day. We've got this cool turn order tile that tells what order we're going to be taking our turns in. Currently, Steph is first player, so she will be going first um, on the start of the day stuff. We're going to get five order cards from the deck. Now, here is one issue, probably the main issue that we have with the rules. The game says draw five order cards from the deck. When we get to uh, 10 or 25 points, all players will draw six or seven cards. Let me see if I can make it straight for you, Steph, for the... Yeah, that's better. probably better. So, here, here is the problem with, with this in the rules. If you constantly draw five order cards from the deck, if you do not create... Uh, well, we're also going to discard two, but if you're not going to create these three orders, then quickly you turn into... You quickly get six, nine, 12, 15 cards. Um... And that did not seem right. So I went back to the original Pizza Master rules, and it says something like you draw two five cards in hand. So that's how we're going to play this. Um, I think you messaged Stronghold and you did not get a response from them or something. It's been a minute, so it's, I, don't, it's, I don't remember. It's been a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we're going to take... We're going to take... Uh, Three of these and keep them discarding two to the discard pile. And then we are going to take turns shopping for ingredients. Each of us has four coins. Starting with Steph, she will spend all of her coins to get ingredients. For every coin she puts on the cheese space, we are going to add two cheese to the pile. Uh, For every one uh, veggie or fish or meat, we are going to add one to the pile for every coin she puts on there. Um, after Steph has placed her ingredients, I'm going to be, uh, her coins rather, I'm going to be placing my coins. Uh, then we will evaluate who has the most coins on each spot. And what will happen is, is whoever has the most on each spot will get to reserve one ingredient, uh, from that section. Now, reserving means you get, you put the ingredient on your coin stash and that doesn't mean that you have to draft that ingredient, but that means if I'm if I reserve it, Steph cannot take it at all. So I could take from the pool instead of my reserved one. Basically, it could be shutting her out of an ingredient. So whenever we col- whenever we go to phase two for making pizza, we first have to collect ingredients, and you notice the turn order shifts. 
from last player to first player. So I will get to claim first. I get to collect any one ingredient token from the pizza board. Um, so uh, these are not owned by anyone. Uh, so I can collect any one of these, even one that I, that I had no part in buying. For example, if Steph put a whole bunch of coins on cheese, I could still take a cheese even if I didn't put any coins on that. Um, at any time, you can, uh, we're going to go back and forth collecting your ingredients. At any time, you can always pass moving your token out, which means you can start cooking anything that you want to cook. Um, and you're going to get points for the, for, the, uh, for the meals that you cook. For example, let me take one of these at random. We have Salmon Aloha. Salmon Aloha. So for a cheese and a fish and a veggie, you can make Salmon Aloha. Uh, and then um, we're, we are not going to use any of the things on the bottom for this. We are just going to get six points. And I have now created a fish meal, so I'm going to put this down here at the bottom. So if there are any uh, any of these objectives that match that, maybe I'm uh, uh, one step closer to getting points for it. Like Cheesy Crazy. Uh, I'd love to get Cheesy Crazy, but uh, this is not a cheese meal. It's a fish meal. So... Um, I think they all have cheese. Okay. Oh, no, it is. There are yellow cards. There are indeed yellow cards, yeah. yes. So, uh, actually, it's not a fish meal. Technically, it is a seafood meal. Um, <laughs> That's true. Anyway, then at the end of the day, when every player's finished cooking, we're, we're going to get our victory points based on the meals we have created. Uh, then we are going to return all the ingredients. Any leftover ingredients here in the pizza, they're going to stay there. Uh, if I have ingredients that are reserved and I did not take them, they're just gonna go back onto the uh, ingredients board. And then we are gonna reshuffle the turn order based on the current uh, score. Whoever has the most points is on the leftmost spot and then going down from there. Uh, so when a player reaches 50 points, as you can see from the little end game spot, the little victory flag, uh, we will continue until the cleanup step and then we're going to check the objective cards to see uh, uh, if you've completed the objectives on, on the uh, stated on the cards, then you're going to get points based on that. Um, let's see here. Uh, some of the master mode modules include, so master mode module one, which we are not using, is where we compete for orders. Basically, instead of uh, getting order cards, to players' hands, we're just going to deal up a number of them face up. And then it's basically a race for whoever wants to stop collecting ingredients first and start cooking. Um, for those of you who enjoy race games and uh, enjoy competing for different for orders, uh, that's fine. Uh, I know Steph doesn't like that very much because you can easily be screwed out of what you tried to go for. And it's just easier if we just stick to what is in our hands. Um, so that is module one. Module two are daily missions. At the start of each round, we're going to turn up a daily mission. And uh, then we are going to uh, basically, if, if one player competes, completes the conditions in the daily mission, you win the card and all the special abilities and points. Um, Master Mode Module 3.1 is ingredients exchange. That gives you a little bit of flexibility. Um, for example, let's see, what is this? What is this ability fish. step? Yeah, but it's like you can discard this to get a fish. Yeah, I thought you needed two, but maybe. I'm um, looking. I'm, oh yeah, that's. It looks like. It looks like there might be two cards on there. Oh yeah, there it is. Um, Exchange two ingredients of the corresponding color for one token of that type. Oh, you can exchange two completed orders for the ingredients. Right. Got but, it. But not then, not but cards in hand. And they don't count for things like cheesy if you're discarding exactly. two yellows. Um, that said, it really doesn't matter uh, for purposes of, you know, if you're, if you're collecting these and there's not a fish 
menu one yeah, up, sure. then it really doesn't matter because you've already gotten the victory points for it. Right, unless it's your own personal objective. Correct. Right. Um, or, uh, you know, you want, might want to keep it for cheesy crazy, but if I've got three or four of these and you don't have any, maybe I risk two of them. Yeah. So... Anyway, that's something to consider as you go through. Anyway, that's module 3.1. There's also module 3.2, <laughs> which are which is the special orders. Uh, you can uh, combine those with other types of order cards to exchange for ingredients. For example, if I discard if I discard these from my completed orders, I can get a meat. If I discard two purple cards, I can get one of anything. If I discard two of the purple completed orders. Yeah, that's good. Absolutely. So we are going to be playing with all of those. Um, module four is seasonings, where we add the ketchup and the oregano tokens. So when on your turn, whenever you are collecting ingredients, you can collect the ketchup or the oregano. Oregano will give you plus one point to any of your pizza dishes uh, that you create that round. Now, if you do choose to not use this oregano token, you can flip it over and you can keep one ingredient that you did not use. Now, here's one catch with, with this. I didn't explain this when I explained the rules. However, if I have ingredient tokens that I did not use, I'm going to lose one point for every one of these ingredients because I didn't use them and then discard them, which is another reason why we're not they doing spoil. The, they, the ingredients spoil. The oregano allows you to keep one of them, but you are still going to get penalized one point for each ingredient that you do not use, including the one you keep on your oregano um, token. It, it's rough. You don't want to do that if possible. Yeah, don't do it if, if uh, yeah. And then this is going to go back um to the it's also not obviously board. clear but the cards will either be a side dish or a pizza a side dish or a pizza based on the shape of the card well ketchup is going to be the same thing except it's plus two points for every side dish the yeah. side dishes all have the diamonds and the pizzas all have the circle icon so it, that way you can yeah tell it just wasn't fish. clear when we first played we're like where's the symbol oh it's actually the shape of the plate <laughs> it's, the, it's the shape of the plate. So, uh, amazingly enough, yeah, this chicken is, wings. Is, it's it's not, a side dish. Notice, it's a triangle. It, it's I a, mean, a, a diamond. Yeah. Super premium. It's a super premium pizza. It's not super obvious, but once fried you shrimp see salad. It, it's see and it, it says side dish here, but once you see the diamond, boom, you see the diamond. It's like I was looking for a color or a symbol. <laughs> and I'm like, where is it? <laughs> Uh, the ketchup rules also apply. If you flip the uh, token over, uh, you can uh, keep one extra ingredient and you will still lose it, uh, the victory points for keeping the ingredients, but it does allow you to keep one of them. So you can use it as a refrigerator is what they, is what they say. Mm. I just put that card in upside down. Uh, the final special module is the secret objective. Basically, you just deal one objective card to each player, and it's only good for that player. Um, if you complete the conditions, you add the reputation points. So, um, so at first and second place, first and second place, first and second place, basically. Um, cheesy crazy, most cheese dishes. Vegan cra vegan guru is most vegan dishes with the... Uh, most vegetable dishes and lazy expert is fewest dishes. What I don't know about that one is does it count the ones you've discarded? It, I don't think it does. Let me look. Cause then it might be worth spending all your cards. It to... might be worth, <laughs> but then you've got still got to keep track of this. Well, so there is that. I am looking to see whether you discard. Do do do. You can exchange from the reserve pile. Turn them face down. Put them on the right side of the player board. Um, cards that have been used for exchanges still count for Greedy Gatherer and Lazy Expert. Oh. They do not count for other types of objectives. All right. So, so there you go. Interesting. Uh, so this is the most dishes. This is the fewest dishes. So they do still count. Still counts. Okay. Not for these, though. And that's most cheese, most meat, most seafood, most vegan. Uh, what else we got here? Okay. 
Uh, indie creator and sidekick master. Um, indie creator is. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, finish one of all types, and you get five points per set mm -hmm. of having one of each color. And the uh, sidekick master, most side dishes made. So they would not count for those. So, uh, so Steph has an objective. I have an objective. We have our three uh, public objectives. We have our daily mission card, so I think we I got are, rid of two. You already got rid of your two. Yeah. So I got the draw pile down here. I won't turn that over yet, just so, let's see. I will keep uh, that one, and I will keep, wow, I don't know about this. Pizza. We have our secret objective, too. Yes, each of us has a secret objective. Yeah the, yeah, the colors in this game, they really pop. Yeah. I like that. It's so good. I think I will keep uh, this one. All right. Did, oh, three. I'm keeping three. Uh, just kidding. And that one. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Now I'm just going to toss these over. Shuffle them up a little bit. Whatever. Doesn't matter. All right. I Turn just order. Think I put these out. You do. Oh wait, we get there. Our mission. What's this? The Flash. What is the Flash? First. First to start cooking. How about that? Let's see. The first player to finish collecting ingredients in this round will receive a bonus shopping coin, and is worth one point at the end of the game. Two. Two. Two and two, huh? How about that? How about that? How about that? How about that indeed? So I think I will go. Yeah, this plays up to five. Yes. There's five spaces in each place. I will put two tokens. Whoa. Whoa. Pizza, pizza. One token and one token. That's four cheese, one of which is reserved on my token. Two, one of which is reserved. Three, one of which is reserved. And one, one of which is reserved. Okay. All right. So I start? You start this mess? Jeez. No, I start this you, mess. You start this mess? I start this mess. This right. mess. Oh, there, that way. <laughs> I start this mess. Well, I want to be able to take at least one of these. And one of these. Take in that one. And one of these. She, uh, fish. 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 And one of. Is that what I want? One of those, yes. I'm going to take the oregano token. Oregano for you. Yeah. I take a the cheese. And I'll cook. Ah, uh, passing. You get the flash. Yeah. Which will give you this bonus shopping coin for a round. I assume that the bonus shopping coin is just for a round. Yeah, I think so. Uh, no, it might not be. The bonus shopping coin. I thought it was who's ever going last. They always get that token, but. Oh, uh, well, I didn't get that. So, oh, yeah. At the end of the round, the player tokens will be reshuffled. The player with the most rep points is placed on the leftmost slot. The last player gets the bonus shopping coin to spend with the player shopping coin in the next round. They right. will be used from round two onwards. 
So I didn't get it because of that. So but yeah. I think this takes it away no matter what. Yes. So, like, I'll always get it even if I'm in the lead, like, for the mm. next round. That's what this card is. It overrides that. Permanently? No, for one round. One round, yeah, that's what I'm saying. One round, but not permanently. No. Uh, so I did this. I get six parts, right? Uh, technically, technically not yet, but yes, you would, right, but I, we, I you are wait. ready to cook. That's fine. Um, I cannot actively do any more of these, I don't think. Let me make sure I've got what I need. Uh, this is one thing. This is one thing. Yeah, I must stop here, unfortunately. Um, so these, it's just going to be dumped back out. Uh, I am also cooking. Well, I guess I could take the ketchup token. If you're making a side I dish. I mean, I am making bad. a side dish. I might as well, since since I'm not going to get the bonus uh, token. So I have made two fish dishes. I made the spicy salmon and the ocean wings. Ta-da. Wow. That's going to be worth nine points. And you made one for six? Plus one. Plus one and mine is plus two. Not th not those discs. Not, sorry, not these discs. Except we are going to be getting that. You got to six plus one? Mm-hmm. I am nine plus two is 11. Mm -hmm. We both get this, I believe. I'm going to double check. We I know we both draw says, six it says, cards. It says all plus one, so yes. We all get plus one card. Oh, yeah, plus one disc. Yeah. So we all also draw six cards. Yep. Um, yeah, once we pass ten, each player, once a player reaches... Each player gets the order card drawn and the additional shopping coin. So that's going to be good. Makes the game go that much faster. Clean up by getting all the stuff. You have the least points. We flip this back over. We get that card. You get that card. Uh, we have... Well, do we draw a cards first? It says at the start of the round, the start of the, we don't actually draw the cards until. Do, 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 do. Daily missions. Phase one, start of the day, reveal one daily mission card. And so do you take orders at the start of the day? It is unclear as to where it goes. Right. So. Mission Refrigerator, whoever is last. Um, you draw six total. I draw six total. Discarding two. Yeah, see, uh, I think we played it with the rules as written when we played last time, and we just... You, we filled up with cards and cards and cards. And I don't quite think that was the correct-ish way to play. Discarding two. I will discard... That, yeah, let's keep this face down. That's fine. That looks really tasty. <laughs> you just had pizza. I just had it. All right. So, there I go. So, what's this? Last place gets this, I guess. Uh, I guess. It's... They're all they're all different, so we have not seen all of these for sure. Player with the least reputation points before the start of the next round will earn one reserve ingredient of their choice, and you can use it in any round. And hey, two points at the end of the game. And has a question for you. Oh, you're being penalized for ingredients you don't use, so wouldn't you want more options? In cards and menu. Well, you the the number of cards you get 
it becomes ridiculously many. Um, Because you can only fulfill so many. Yeah, because so like Steph completed one of her three last round. Should probably put these away. Steph only did one of her three, so that would mean she would be up to eight cards. Losing two is six. And it... It then gets even more ridiculous it, from it there. It does give you a lot of options. It it, it, um, it gives you a... I'm not sure it's not correct. I'm not sure it is correct. But so. the, Yeah, but the first edition of the rules said draws up to hand limit. Yeah. Um, and the designer... It's, they don't use the term hand limit, but the designer even agreed with someone who said... Who asked a question... Does this go up? You know, to, does it increase the the special card? Increase the hand limit? And the designer said yes. Uh, if somebody is drawing, if one person is drawing five, you get to draw six. Um, but it does say up to in the original rules. So I don't know. It's probably fine to play either way, honestly. Yeah, but like, I mean, we played it the other way the first time, and it was fine. This seems fine. Like, mm, there's only so much I can. There do. were way too. I think there were way too many. I had way too many cards when I when we played. Mm-hmm. About midway through, I was like, eh. even still, I couldn't. And it do almost my doesn't matter. Card, so. It almost doesn't matter what we draft All at right. that point. So, so you can play discs. I can play my discs. That's what I can do. Yeah. Going first is always tricky. Well, I guess I want some of this. You're you've got bonus tokens now. Remember, if you play your bonus token by itself, you can't get the benefit for it. If you play it in a group with with another one, do you get the? Oh, reserving ingredients. I, oh, I forgot this. For one to three coins, you get one ingredient. For four or more, you get two ingredients. Oh, there it is. The most. And it locks them down. I like a little of everything. Give me a little bit of everything. Mm. Mm, you don't like that. Whoa. Is that it? That's not it. No. Five broccolis. Two of which are reserved. Two of which are yours and yours alone. We have three fish. Yeah. One of which is yours. Four cheese. Four cheese. One of which is mine. One meat. One of which is mine. One meat and only one meat. Oh, and then I go. Then you go because... Let's grab some cheese. That seems like a really good plan. I'm going to grab some cheese. More cheese. Cheese, glorious cheese. Whoa. Cheese. Fish. Fish. Bleh. Veggie. Veggie. Mm. Oh, yeah. You could use two cards of the same color to get the extra ingredient as well. That's correct. Yep. Oregano. Mm. Reggie. I should take this one. Cause you... Yes, you should. Catch up. Reggie. Well, I can't possibly win the mission refrigerator. 
Because I can't be last. Why not? I take, you take, I take, you take. No, it's the last. The person who is oh, in last, the last place. place. Oh. I take my meat. Fish. Mm. Out. Cooking things. Not getting points for them yet, though. Uh. Deep, deep. I will cook these. Cooking it. That's it. Wow. Look at your veggies. Two fish, three veggies, and three cheese. I get 11 points. At 15. You get 15 points? Yep. You got all your bonuses and stuff? What you, these. Wow. So we're now tied. What's tiebreaker? Uh, that's a good question. Maybe nobody. Let me look. In the case of a tie, the current order stands as far as this is concerned. What? So if the current order stands, then you are... Technically on the bottom, yes, no. What's it called? Refrigerator. Least reputation points. That's least reputation points. Lucky me. Why is it lucky? Because I get this. No, it said least reputation points. Yeah, which is me because I'm on tiebreaker for least. Mm. No, you're on tiebreaker for turn order. In the case of a tie, the current order stands for turn order. Okay, so no one gets it? There are no rules for it. Okay, well, what do you want to do? Remove it? Uh, I think neither of us get it, because neither of us has least. Okay. Let me see what the other ones say. First player to finish cooking a cheese, vegetable, seafood, meat, side dishes, finish collecting ingredients, last player to finish collecting ingredients, first player to finish making three dishes in the round, least reputation points before the start of the next round. That's the only one that does not say that this is the only one that could be ambiguous. That I think that's probably the one, the one problem with this game is the the ambiguity and nobody has answered anything on the revised edition and there are only five posts on this edition, so so yeah, uh, let's take these back. You again get the disc. Uh, these go into our piles. We then draw up. How many do you have? One. You get five. I get four. Wow. Really? Hmm. I'm placing first, huh? Blah. Blah. I don't love this. So purple cards don't count toward any set. Is that correct? Right. It's, yeah. I mean, for purposes of cheesy and vegan, they right. do not count towards right. any no. particular set. No, I think I'm going to go to this one and this. Me too. Okay. Actually, I do sort of need to get rid of these. Huh. That hurt me to do. All right, what are you doing? I'm putting my coins. This says something about something. Mission Poseidon. The first player. Did I discard any of those? Mm, no. The first player to create. A seafood dish. 
We'll get we'll get something. The, the fish. Oh, you get a seafood token yeah. that can be used in any round. Yep. And one point at the end of the game. Yeah, I sort of like how this is more restrictive with fewer cards. Mm -hmm. But that's just, it's a meat thing. And what else do I want? At you. Fish. That's a lot of fish. Meat. One, two, three, and you get two. I get one, and neither of us get anything for the meat. Too many. A lot of meat out there. And then I go first. You go first. I'll take the side dish. Ketchup. Uh, ketchup. You will take the ketchup. Yeah. You need to catch up. If I do. I think veggie is the way to go. Meat. 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 Fish. 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 Cheese. Fish. <laughs> Fish way over there. Oregano. Fish. All the fish. <laughs> All the fish. Boy, what to get now? Cheese. Is this for each of mine? Yes. All right, I'm gonna make some food. You are bowing out. Yep. And make some food. I got three side dishes. You are first, dishes. first for, for Poseidon, and you yes. get plus two for each of those in just a second. Sure. I will take the rest of the cheese. That was a risk because I have super cheesy, so. That is very cheesy. <laughs> that was a risk because I would have taken a point loss. Mm -hmm. And then I am also going to cook. So I get a super cheesy for four cheese. And lobster bacon and seafood. Appetizer. Lobster bacon <laughs> sounds really good right now. I'm looking at some of these. I'm like, that sounds tasty. Mixed and group. a chicken trio. All right, so, and so, I have five and six is 11, two is 13, and three is 16 for me. So, five, 10, 15, 16, you get... 15. You get 15. Oh, and you still end up behind me. Ding, dang it. Why? What do you mean, why? Is it better to be behind? Well, you get to select ingredients first. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's super, super helpful. Dink, dink. Have you killed any sets of cards for I things have, yet? Sadly, I have not. I have not. So, take I me. have this fish that I can use at some point. This could be the last round. Uh, it could be. I need some cards. Our hand two. limit's at seven now. One, so two, three, six. four, five, six. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six. What do I want? What do I want? I can still get second place just by having a cheesy. So a cheesy. Might That's be something correct. to consider. One of those. Oh, man. One of those. 
No, I'm doing this backwards. Kill those. Wow. Some of these are so hard to create. Yeah, especially if they're purple. <laughs> uh, yeah. Get a lot of points for them. But you might be a lazy expert. Oh, this needs to go up. Supporter. First to complete two side dishes. Two sides. That's mine. Does not matter. For me. Did not matter for me. Either. Did not matter for you. All right. We have all these dishes. <clears throat> I want three of those. By putting a fourth this you can secure two. Yeah... It's true. <clears throat> I just got so many other things to create. So much to do. So many things I must do. That's one of those. I mean, what to do with this mess? One of these and one of these. I'm just going everywhere on this, on the board. Three of those. Putting a million cheese into the middle. That's six, seven, eight cheese. Two and two. That would be two veggies and one on top of mine. Three fish, two and one on top of yours. Three meat, two and one on top of yours. How about that? And then I start this you mess. Start this mess. Oh boy. Ta da. Um, meat. Ooh. You have forced my hand. I figured. Meat. Fish. Oh. You have forced my hand. Fish. <laughs> you have forced my <laughs> hand. Veggie. <laughs> Cheese. 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 Oh, forgot about that. I didn't forget about that. That's that. That's. You can also complete that. something and use it with something else to get the resources needed for another thing. And another thing. Well, I'm just saying they chain. As soon as you make something, you can use you it. You can then use it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, don't know what I want to do at this point. I'm not sure. Ketchup. I'll take the other one, oregano. No! Oh. It's tricky. It is tricky. Hey, 
Hey, Time Roller, what's up? Hello, Time Roller. Cheese. Jeez! <laughs> well, that's not going according to plan. Mm-mm. Veggie! Jeez. Now I must cook. Cook, cook, cook. And I don't have enough. I don't have enough for the side dishes. Sadly. I just think about what I want to do here. Me too. Alright, so I guess technically you're first, so I can see what you're doing. Yes, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm gonna lose I'm gonna lose some points because I was hoping you would uh blink and you didn't. Alright, that's the I don't like to blink. I, I know that. I, I realize Three points, that. four five points. Yes. Eventually. I was hoping you'd blink with the ketchup and rush to complete the side dishes, but you did not. I didn't have two to complete, so. Well, I guess that would that would do it. So therefore. And then this, and I am actually stuck with the other. I mean, remember, you can discard two cards to get. Yeah, and then I'll lose cheesy crazy. Oh, well, sure. So I'm, I'm not I'm not down for that. Not down. He's no, not down. I'm not down for that. So how many points do you got? Nine. Nine. Because that two is canceled by this two. All right. Well, I think Which you do I'm it right. I think you do the points right away. Because how? I mean. I Negative. Need... That yeah. is not correct. Right. Per the rules, why? What do you? What do you need? So I'll be discarding cards that You'll... I'm am making right now. You'll be discarding cards. Mm, so, um, I'm not. Mm, I'm not sure about all that. So let me let me read to you the phases: making pizza, collect ingredients. You pass to start cooking. Then at the end of the day, when all players have finished cooking, move the tokens according to the points earned. I'm, I'm not seeing the chaining thing. Let me double check on the master mode where you can do that. Ingredients exchange. Forming combos, newly completed dishes can immediately be used to exchange for even more ingredients. You know what? We'll go ahead and do that as we go. So I got nine total, including this gun. So you get what? So far, six plus seven plus seven. Six and seven and seven? Yeah. Uh, sounds like 20. Yeah. And then I'm going to kill these two bread cards. Okay. To get a meat. Oh, frick. Yeah. Five, 10, 15, 20. Plus three. 20 plus Not a, plus three plus three. Oh, you've already counted that for the other ones. Yeah, got it. And then that's it. That's it. Yeah. All right. Did you use this? I did. All right. All right. Move these to here. And then we are basically done. I did not do that card. I did not do three cards, sadly. Um, we tied on Cheesy Crazy. I think ties, nobody gets it, or I don't know, what do we do here? Mm, six and three, four, first and second. Does not say. That is odd. 
I guess we do what we want. <laughs> we do what we want. Do what we want. It does not say. Daily, the first one that does it gets it. These, it doesn't say. Um, lazy, you have, what, four, seven, nine, eleven. I have three, five, seven, nine. So, I get nine points, you get four. Sixty turns into sixty-four. Hey, look, you got a token. Yeah, you get your token. Okay, I'm vegan. Vegan, you get six, I get three. Five, six, I get three. Uh, I don't know what to do with that. I guess nobody gets anything. I or... mean, it's 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 rare that you get a revised edition of a game. Without tie-breaking rules. Without <laughs> tie-breaking rules. It's like they didn't think that this could possibly happen. <laughs> Unless it's turn order, which case it's uh, it's not ever turn order. Yeah. Which that's what that's what got you in trouble last time. Yeah, I know. It's not turn order. It's it was points. Yeah. So that would be wrong. I just don't know. So we get nine split. So four piece. Yep. 60, 1, 2, 3. We get four piece for this, too, because we tied with that. Why are you going for uh, oceans? I think only you get it, but let me look. Unless it's just secret, let me look. Apply only to the owner of the card. So you get what? Four, if that's how we're doing it. Yes. I get 10. Wow. Not enough. Wow. Yeah, that was a lot. Could not pull it off in the end. The so final score, 78 to 73. 78. I could not pull it off. It's cute. Indie creator. <laughs> that is Pizza Master. Pizza Master from Stronghold of Siam. You have the box over there. Oh, did you count your points for that? For your daily mission? Oh, I got two more. You got how many more? Two more? And I don't so, think I had any. So I got 80 then. 80. 80. 80. Yes. So definitely, uh, if you like set collection if games. If you like pizza. If you like pizza. No. It, yeah, it did, sound, no. did sound really tasty. Uh, if you if you like set collection games and you like drafting, um, I think you'll enjoy this game. Um, uh, I like games with hidden objectives, and so this hits a lot of the right notes for mm -hmm. me. Um, I like that you're picking areas on the pizza, and you know you're not sure you're gonna get the resources you want. I think that's that's it's rough if you don't get what you if want. If you don't get what you want. And I think that's why <laughs> it's why you didn't even want to try the master mode. No, I don't want to play that. Um I don't like for fighting for Because if you fight for it and you don't get it, then all it's it would not be as bad if you if you did not spoil ingredients. I think that that's what kills that mode for us. Mm -hmm. Um Yeah. Also, I mean, if you just hug on to all your resources, that'd be fine. Yeah. Now the original edition of this game had five whole forum posts on BGG, and the new one has none. Um, I think uh, I think that they should definitely have a a an experienced set of blind playtesters play this game so that they can throw the the suggestions of what do you do on tiebreakers. What do you do on this specific card? And you can clarify that before you even go to print. And this has been printed twice. So mm -hmm. uh, if there was one suggestion I can make to, to Strong Love Siam, it's to do that. Um, but uh, otherwise, it's a, a fairly solid game hidden behind the, the rules discrepancies. So, yeah. I mean, they had the thing that gets me, they had, they had it right on the first one. And then lost it on the revised edition, mm -hmm. where they said draw up to this amount. Maybe they meant to change it, but then when you and I played it, it's just like yeah, we had a ton of cards, cards galore, and it's like yeah, 
This seemed to work fine. Hi, Deadpan. With the hand limit, so. Yeah. It was it was tight enough at that point. I think you can't let a game be too... Never let players do everything they want. Yeah. Number one rule of game design. Actually, probably number two rule. Number one rule is to have interesting decisions. Yeah. So. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely check it out. Pizza Master from Pizza Master. Stronghold of Siam. Yay! Oh, we're right back. 